Come on, Chrissy. I can't get in there, mate, to it. I said to him, should we take the wheels off? Shut up, mate. I said, should we jack it up, take the wheels off? No, 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 we don't need to take the wheels off. What should we have done? Take the wheels off. It's Ben and Chris here, Carbang and Car Diaries. Welcome back to another video. Oh, exciting one today for the FN. It's a big one for Chrissy. It's a big one. Long story short, I bought these for my Civic, but Chris bought them off me because obviously I'm now selling the Civic. And we've always said since the day I got these wings that they look so good on a black Civic. And you probably already know what they are. Mugen vented wings. Mugen style vented wings. They're not yes. official because they're about five million pounds. We haven't even unwrapped them. I've had these wings for what? How long? Uh, when A we're, year. <laughs> when, we're back, when we're back at my garage, wasn't it? Yeah, it was probably last. Yeah, I thought it was before too. lockdown, wasn't it? Last year oh, I bought yeah. them, so it's nearly a year. Yeah. So nearly 12 months ago I bought these wings. And they've never, and they've been never been even been out of the put there since we moved in here. Because they're like covered in dust. <laughs> so, let's unwrap them for the first time. Yeah, Fiberworks, they are from. Never had anything from them before, but have heard good things about them. Oh, they're covered in water. So we shall see. They're very well packaged. I think that's where they're from. Look. Ferdinandonline.com. Dot com. Oh my god, this is gonna be a mission to undo this lot. Shall I find a knife? Yeah, mate. Oh, Marky Mark, but it's me. All the racking that was there and put it over there in the corner. So now we can get two cars in here. Easy peasy with all this room in between. It's made life much easier. What was I getting? A knife. Nice. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, good luck with that. It might help. That's the knife that we've got. We need to get a standing knife, don't we? <laughs> you can snap the blade off if you want it sharper. <laughs> we'll just come back to you in a minute. Alright, 15 minutes later, I've got, look at all that. That was a right mish. Fair play Fiberworks for your packaging, it was on point. Well, here we are then. Oh, We've got a Mugen style vented wing. Obviously they need prep and paint. But yeah. And then obviously got to drill all these holes out, look. Got to yeah. Drill these out, these tabs. And then obviously in here, Whee! it's gonna be the gold mesh. Yeah, we've got gold mesh in there, isn't it? That's gonna look mental mate. Yeah mate. Very, very cool yes. indeed. Very nice. Beasts, isn't they? Yeah. And they're not wider, they look like they're wider than standard arches. But they're not, it's just this bit, isn't it? I think that's, yeah, that's so wider, the size of it. Like Offer it up. Let's have a look on the gear. Oh, Batmobile. So, yeah, basically, you get the vented bit there. Look. Yeah, mate. Sick. So. We've never done this before. We've never taken these panels off, is this? No, we haven't. Watched a couple of videos on YouTube, but we shall see. I don't think it's that bad to do. No, the hardest bit is going to be making everything fit, isn't it? Because we're going to have to yeah. we're going to have to drill out all the <coughs> holes all and all that. Because these are there. that's for the clips, isn't it? There, these. Yes, it is. So they're going to have to be. They're going to have to be knocked out. Yeah. It's going to be fun. Mm. But. I think the main thing is uh, all this. Yeah, that's like the inner arch. And these and, so, yeah. and the clips that hold on there because it is, it's getting the alignment right. Yeah. Making sure everything lines up properly. So these aren't too much of an issue. As long as the arch sits over there nicely, then it won't matter. So I don't know. What do we do first then, Chrissy? Well, There's obviously going to be bolts down here inside. The wing. We think there's one behind the 
wiper plastic bit. You think there's one behind here, and there's gonna be some underneath, I would think, as well. Not too sure. Yeah, to my, from the video I watched, I think there's one in here. Mm -hmm. one. Do you have to take the, the arch liner and all out? You've got to undo it, yeah. So, you've got one up here, one in behind there, one down here, and obviously the one there that joins the bumper onto it. So this, all this has got to come off. Yeah. And then undo all your arch liner. Got it. <sighs> That's a lot. <laughs> It is quite That's a, a bit. lot. Probably late night. Well, after Ben kindly agreeing to sell them to me, I was like, well, do we do it? Where are or... they fitted then? No, we take them off and they're in behind there. Yeah, they come up I was like, do we kind of do it or do we just take it to a body shop and get them to just spray them and fit them? Yeah. But then we thought, well, let's not throw on you guys because you're going to miss out on. Exactly. And not only that, but I've never, I haven't seen one video on YouTube of Anyone fit them, trying man? to fit these wings and especially the fiberwax ones so we should see we'll have a go and uh see I mean well even if we did one side I don't know do one side to show you and then not film the other side because yeah. filming takes twice as long doesn't it yeah, to do exactly. anything and it like so, Paul Ben has lots of late nights editing it does so maybe we'll <laughs> This video we'll see what fitment's like on one side and then we'll fit the other side and then show you what it's like yeah i reckon so i think so so we'll concentrate on one side first aye so i'm assuming that plastic bit's got to come off that that one there will have to come out that comes out this has got to come out i think uh, maybe oh, does it i don't know, I don't know no it's a bolt it there look so, yeah, there's one, yeah maybe that definitely has to come out. Yeah, these could So we can remove this plastic bit that's flapping about. Let's get the tool, the lad. Right, so we discovered that when you take that trim off down the side, this trim here, which is just held on by that, there's a bolt there. There's nothing up under there, so we don't think you have to take that wiper arm off and that. But you pop that bit off with a trim tool, there's a bolt there and a bolt there, which is holding. The wing on there and there and I'm assuming there's another one to hold that bit on down there somewhere and uh yeah so we'll get the undone and then we'll check in a bit further we're just going to do this bit by bit and film you when we film it when we find it if you know what I mean because we don't know how these come off really so we'll do it so you don't have to so we'll check it in a second though you gotta take your wiper off remove this by just pulling it and there is another bolt there the top of the wing so that whole top bit now is free you've got to undo that screw there which we've taken off about a million times over the years on these cars yes which bolts that to that so it should literally just be that last one so it should just be this bit down here and that whole goddamn wing should come should off, come off. Oh. She's all nervous. I am. Don't like well, it's taking, it? taking fucking full panels off. It's a bit different to. Yeah, that's easier. Than that. So we are. You are going. So there's no lock into that. How does that that have to come off of there? Do you think? Must do. Still feels bloody solid yeah, there. It does. Maybe it? there's another one up underneath the wheel watch or something. Don't know, bit. You watched the bloody video. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Oh god. Is the work light gone? It's over here. Oh, I don't know, mate. Nothing in there. This is going to this is going to be attached to it, though, isn't it? Yeah. So that's just shine the light down there, mate. Yeah, there he is. There's another bolt there. There's every fuck. Yeah. Look. Just underneath there, where the headlight is. See it there. Is that part of it? Is it? Yeah. That one there. Is that it? I don't know, mate. 
don't know if that's attached to it, is it? Yeah. I don't think it is, mate. It is, isn't it? We found more. <laughs> so there is in there. And you that. can just see where my it. finger is. Hang on. Sorry. There's a bolt there. Let's put this bit of the wing on. We're taking the three screws out there in the arch liner doofer. And it looks like there's a bumper clip there, which again it just holds the arch liner on. Two of them. Was it screws? Yeah. Oh, right. That one's a clip, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. yeah, but I don't think that's holding the. That was holding that on, look. Yeah. So that bit of the arch trim, there's one of them fucking clips there, we just yanked that off. But luckily, that hasn't, well, it nearly has a little snap. Nearly. <coughs> that one did snap off. Twats. Yeah. So that's what's. There, look, so that's what's snapped, but luckily it doesn't really matter because you still, none of these broke. Yeah. So, where they are, when you get halfway to the top of your wheel arch, look up underneath in the trim, and there's two screws to take out to get the rest of it out. Yeah. And I think once they're out, that's screwed, mate, you'll never get that off. It's a good one, isn't it? screwed underneath there. Yeah, you feel it. We put them in. The one there. There, in a bit. Do any weirder? Wings off! Wing! It's not. It's still well, on the bloody car. Yeah, but it's undone then. Right, so there's another one. <laughs> there. 10 mil, was it? Uh, yes, yeah, so all, all so 10, 10 mil, mil just behind the skirt, yeah. and that skirt, just a clip behind there, look, we can just pop that off. So we're trying to take as little off as possible, really, aren't we? Yeah, because it's all going to go back on again. Um, <laughs> so you've, in total, you got one, two, Three, Three, four. Oh, there's another one. Oh, yeah, there's one there. Yeah, one in there. Four. The one in where? No, it's just yeah. that one there. Yeah, yeah. So we're count that. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then obviously all your arch trims and stuff. I think you've got to pop that out as well, mate. That's what's snapped off. Oh, is it? You, you took that one out, but that was a screw. I don't think that's a screw, is it? No. It looks like one of them yeah. bumper clips. And then in theory, the wing should come off. It's a bit of an effort, I'm not going to lie. And the hard part is going to be nothing's pre-drilled. I mean, it's marked. Here, 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 here. <laughs> Everywhere. There, 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 there. But we shall see, we shall see. This is why we do it. We do all this cocking about. So you just watch this video and go, oh, I'm not going to do that. It looks so much like hard work. Well, you go, yeah, I am going to do that. Why not? So, let's try and get that wing off. He's still holding on. Is it on the arch trim? There's another one there. Clip. Oh, we thought we had it then. Make sure you get all your arch line <gasps> clips up. <clears throat> it's a little treat for the ladies. Oh, oh, oh. Butt crack. McCracken. It's very stressed out. Come on, Chrissy. Get in there, mate, to it. I, I said to him, should we take the wheels off? Shut up, mate. I said, should we jack it up, take the wheels off? No, 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 we don't need to take the wheels off. What should we have done? Take the wheels off. <sighs> We've got to get in behind to pull it out. In, in there? No. I don't think so. Mm. <sighs> what kind of a clip is it? One of the other ones, the fucking. Oh, the pulley out right in the middle? Yeah. Let's try a little flat headed screwdriver or something. I'll get you one of those. Have you got I've got a... Got it. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> right then, that should be it. A total of 8 million clips and bolts holding one effing wing on. Uh, oh, oh, 
먼지 도 스크래치 도 스크래치 도 따따따 Look at that look There you go The rust No bit mm? Is that Ali? It's not steel Is it steel or is it Ali? I've got a fucking Oh, spider Look at this look This is all new to me this What's that there? Is that supposed to come off or stay on? Oh, bloody hell <coughs> Guess that stays there. Yeah, I need to get them out, mate, because they've snapped. Yeah. What's that? What's that thing? What's that? I don't know, mate. But just going somewhere. This is the intake or anything, is it? I don't know, mate. Could be. Does anyone know what that is? Let us know. It's just a random pipe going into the wing, unless it's sucking air in down through the arch to the brakes. Maybe. Maybe that was what your vented wings are for. For better air flowage. These are well in there. Good shit, aren't they? They're coming. Always makes it easier when you're trying to do something fiddly and you don't want to break it when someone's filming, doesn't it? Oh. <laughs> it's so, so angry. Oh, the hook. Oh, let me see. Oh, yeah. Well, not on a hook at all. It's just bent out. <coughs> no, like a, they spray open, do they? Spray open? Splay. Where the fuck did that go? <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, no, it's a leaf. Right, we did a, like we offered it up. We didn't show you that because we just did it. And the fitment looks good so far, but obviously none of the holes are drilled. So we're going to drill out that one, that one, and that tab there. So the top three. And that one, I think. And then we'll bolt down that side. We're not going to drill this one out of here on the end until that's fitted so we can kind of line it up a bit better. These are going to be a sod though because they're square. So I'm not really sure how we're going to do that, to be honest. I suppose we could drill them out as well. We've got a bracket to fit on there, which comes off of the original wing. Uh, I suppose we could drill these tabs out underneath as well. I think that's for the wheel arch lines. But I'd, st I'd just leave that one. We'll drill that when it's on the car, I think. Yeah. When we can get a fitment, we just close the bonnet. I suppose with these, mate, as long as you use sufficient size drill bit. Yeah, I suppose so. As long as you get close enough to the edges. Yeah. It's only to allow the clip to go in, isn't it? Yeah, it's true. Yeah. So, have a light, please. What? Have a light, please. Why are you having a lighter? I'm going to warm my hands up a little bit, I'm a bit chilly. You're not, you're going to have a cigarette. No, I'm not, mate. This is fucking shit he gives me. Holy smoky smoke. I've given up, by the way. Shut up, have you? Where do you think I just got this from then? Uh... <laughs> right, it's just some holes. Can we do it? Can we do it? You do it. Oh, fuck that, you do it. I like to have this when I'm nervous. Mm. One. And obviously the beauty of fiberglass is you can drill your holes and if it is slightly off you can like ream out the edge of the hole to like move it over a little bit and then bolt it down. But they seem pretty good. The centre of those little holes. Just be careful I guess. I'd leave that M ones. We've done that one down. There's one on the top that needs doing. There. Well, do no, that one, which one is it? One of, we've got to put the bracket on there, haven't we? Yeah, bracket's got to go on there off the old one. I think that's these can be drawn up. Let's go and check the other one in there. Let's have a look. Oh, it's this poor baby. Look, so, ah, I see. 
you got screw in there and screw in there. Right. But that tab's that is the tab on the other one. I don't yeah, think you need it. You need that. Oh, so you've got, you've to, got take to take the plastic that, that piece there because that's where your bumper clips ah, in there. Yeah, look. of course it is. Of course it is. So it's the furthest one I need to drill so out. That bit is already on the new one. On the new one, that's that I need to drill out that bit one. There isn't. But if you look at that one, oh, look, yeah. that one is a bit more elongated to allow for movement. Yeah, it is, isn't it? So we need to take that screw out and that screw out. Let yeah. Take that off. Not today, obviously. Well, do you not want it? Do you think it should? I, I would, just to make sure that the bumper lines are right. Okay. I would, mate. Alright, we'll have that one out in a minute then. I would do. About an hour later. We could make millions, I reckon. I don't know, we haven't even tried it yet, mate. Yeah, we've done well, pretty well though. We've taken that bracket off the original wings that have to go on there. The hard part is not having a tool to make these arch trim clips square in it. Yeah. But we've done our best. So everything's drilled now. We've piled in hole in each corner yeah. and then one in the centre yeah. and then just use the die grinder and obviously very slow and then speed up if you have to but that was a lot quicker than trying to do it with the drill wasn't it? yeah definitely so I don't know what tool they use to cut them out anyway I don't know mate probably the machine just presses it all out yeah maybe yeah or they might just do exactly the same yeah, thing we're doing that one went a bit wrong yeah that one was a bit of a... I don't know what we're going to do with that yet not just the bolt it so, well, we offer it up now. Offer it up now. Start bolting it down, shall we? But to be honest, with the fitment so far, I don't think, I think I'm going to chance it on the other side. So, <coughs> still have to drill all your holes though. But yeah, I still got to prep it the same, yeah, but I think I'm going to try and wing it. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that nice t shirt there. Right, this might be a double lander. It will be. We'll come back in a sec. Oh, this is an effort. A re effort. But I mean, the fit's actually pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I think, but, mate, that's got to come up. That's why that gap's so big. That needs to clip underneath the wing. There's two, there's two no, clips right, there. Yeah, see. So that will then reduce that gap there. Right. Right. We'll take that off and have a look on this side. Uh, yeah, we've got that bolt in. We've got that in. We'll do this fitment here, which is. To be fair, that is pretty done. darn good. Yeah, it does. But be careful with that. Fitment down here is tight, so we're gonna pull this out slightly that way. We haven't tried any of these fucking clips or anything yet. The bumpers fitted on really good, actually. It has, mate. It really has. That line is decent. We haven't done this hole yet here. Just that there, yeah. Because we want to drill out. that and pull that out like that. Yeah, because you can see there, look, it's not following the line of the yeah. light correctly. It needs to come out so a touch. We'll drill that. The hole is under there for me. There, the hole's there. Yeah. So we need to drill, it, that, drill that to pull that out there. We haven't tried clipping the arch in yet, have we? Which we should do, really. So we'll try clipping all that in, I think. We'll get to all that bottom one first. Okay? Yeah, we'll clip all that in, clip the arch in, drill that hole out, and then that, I would think. Pretty much it. Be pretty much it. We can tuck that in when we fit it next time. At least we know then. Unless you want to um, take all that off again and unbolt it. Yeah. Well, they need, mate. We just know when we no. got to fit it, that's got to clip up on the Yeah, I think so. <coughs> right, let's get the arch trim on. Make sure that fits. Yeah. Drill that out of the hole and then that's pretty much all. Yeah. Look at that. So we're very serious this video. Not been any cocking about or anything, is there? <laughs> well, it's to been... be fair, when you're doing things like this, you can't really. You've got to concentrate about. a lot yeah. to get all the lines right. Because like obviously. Fair sorry, go on. Obviously, obviously, it's quite an expensive thing as well when you get it painted. Yeah. I mean, obviously, Ben's a legend and let me have these quite cheap because he's lovely. I did. But, um,. Yeah, you've got to take this one kind of serious, guys. You do? It's quite a bit of money involved in it, isn't it? So. Yeah, it is, and it's, it's, it's a whole body panel, <coughs> so it's got to look right. It's got to be right. Plus side with black is, it kind of hides a lot of the lines and stuff. Cause, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. it's dark. But, I mean, it's pretty good. Fair play to fiber work. Yeah, I mean, I, I, yes. It's definitely. a mould at the end of the day, and they're, they're not bad, but anyway. Very good. We'll, see, we'll get the arches on, and then clip it all back together, 
and then we can have a proper look at it, the finished product with the bonnet down. And, uh, bonnet. and that'll be it, but. Bonnet. Mm. Been a naughty boy. What have you bought? Been a naughty boy today. What did you buy? I just bought the. Um, I can't say it. Just bought the bonnet. Chris bought the Jay's Rays in replica bonnet, bent it. Don't tell Kaylee. <laughs> <laughs> Got it for a bargain, second hand, half price. I did, yeah. That deal on Wednesday. Unpainted is basically was bought, left in a garage, wasn't it? Yeah, well. Never the, fitted. Uh, the person that I purchased it off is in Wales, obviously, and so they're sending it down. Mm. Um, but yeah, they apparently they bought it for a Type R and the engine went in, the, in their Type R. Oh, right. So they've obviously scrapped the car and it's just been in storage for a while. It's got a few little scratches on it, but like you say, when I take it to the body shop, it'll... What's that mean? Well, they do. Out. But it's all, it's the same as that. It's just in primer at the minute, so... Sweet as fuck. Right, let's get these arches on and that. I drill up a couple of holes and then that should be test fit complete. All right. Well, after a little bit of titivating, we were just discussing, weren't we? Like aftermarket body panels, especially wings, anything like that. They're a pain in the ass, oh, especially yeah. fiberglass, because uh, the poly stuff you can manipulate it more, but fiberglass doesn't bend, does it? Simple as that. But she's on, the bonnet is down, the clips are all back in, and I think we've done a bloody good job of that. I think we have, mate. To be I fair, I think I don't think a body shop could get that any better. No, I don't. I really don't. Mine's are perfect. The only thing I would advise is where all the tabs are on the fiberglass is getting. We're going to get some little rubber washers to just put underneath. Yeah, so when you tighten down, because you tighten down so far, you hear that little crack in your leg. Yeah, Ugh. it's gonna just... crack it, but, well, let's show you. See what you think. Yeah. Cute, cinematics. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It looks sick. It's like we haven't clipped none of this is clipped in yet because we don't want to have to pull it all back off because we're gonna obviously have to put it all back off again for paint. So but there's a couple in and they all line up absolutely perfectly. So that will push back obviously. The door, that's not in properly either, so ignore that. We haven't pushed that in because again we've got to take it all off. The lying down the door. Yeah, we had to play around that bottom one, didn't we? But spot on. That will all push in and we're going to screw up from underneath when it's painted. Well, I don't as know. You probably well, noticed, I don't open the door yet. As you probably noticed on the video as well, yeah. the cinematics with this bit, this clips underneath, yeah, so which raises we this yet. up. But it's coming off again in a minute, so there's no point in no. actually fitting it fully. But when it's. Uh, Gap down the bonnet. <coughs> slightly raised there. But very, very slightly, but the line's pretty much spot on. It slightly pokes out there, but again, very slightly. And it's near on. Well, you're not gonna get any better. That there is perfect. The way that the front bumper lines up with the, the wing itself is pretty much perfect. Open the door, I haven't tried that yet. <laughs> door opens, which is good. I was worried about that look because obviously it could it's potentially could hit there but it doesn't it goes straight in behind it I'll shut it fucking spot on mate that well happy for you <coughs> i am mate and when i just looked from here i have to say i did have a little twitch in my pants because you look there and yeah mate. With, with the seeker in your eye line as well it just yeah, looks I know so what you mean. stealthy i know what you mean do you know what i mean yeah and with your with your new bonnet Sorry, darling. <laughs> There's going to be gold grills in here. Yeah. Gold grills in the bonnet. If you remember my bonnet video, I put the green grills in. Chris is going to put the gold in his to match, obviously, there. It's going to look so good. It does, mate. This line crease in the it's door. It's perfectly down, yeah. It lines up with that bit there that goes off up to there. 
It's really good. I'm so happy for you. Oh, I'm fine. I was really a little bit worried. I'm chub. Yeah, because yeah. look, look how long they've been sat there. Well, oh, we said, didn't we, before we started the video, we said, look, we need to at least have a go. I've never really fit anything else. I've fitted front bumpers and rear bumpers and stuff like that, but this is kind Actual of different. Body purple. And uh, we just said, look, we'll do a video on it anyway. And if it's really shit fitment, we'll make the video and then people will know how to get it off. If you want to <laughs> do it yourself, you're going to have to have a bit of experience. We haven't got any experience, really, have we? No. Fucking fitting panels. No. And we've managed it. So, test fit it's just 100%. Time. It's just time. Before I mean, you paint. This has taken us, what, two hours? Yeah, to do one. To do one. <laughs> exactly. So, we're not so going to film the other one. We're not obviously. going to do the, film the other one. There, always, so. always test fit it before you send them off for spray. Yeah, because I was, to Ben, I was kind of like, uh, <sighs> I'll just, just go get them painted, they'll fit. But then no, he insisted, and he's right. Well, the amount of on and off, on and off, yeah, you know, yeah. get scratched and yeah, exactly. You want to just literally put it. Straight. And when they're painted, you need a darn good machine polish. Yes, which is my birthday in May, as you guys know. So. And then the we'll new paint, for the, the new paint polish, will yeah. match the old paint. Yeah, it's, it's going to look a bit. Out. It's going to look a bit. But patchy yeah. until you get that done but I'm but actually looking forward to that I want uh, we'll, yeah. we'll, obviously we'll do a pretty detailed video on that mm. as well but we're doing yeah. lots of research on best ways to do it and all that so it's sick mate be a nice one Ben might let me loose on the S2000 who knows <laughs> well mate you probably do that in about two minutes that car anyway look at it <laughs> true it's only got like six bottles not much to it obviously mine's going to no take because when the light hits it the swells are horrendous on it yeah mate and it's bloody filthy right? I, I know mean, it, it is it hasn't been washed for about three weeks no. I also, I also said that if I do sell the Civic run, I'm just going to buy him some springs because I just can't handle this. <laughs> look at that, look. Look at that. It ruins it, mate. Mate, it's You've got not all that these lush bad. wings on it and everything, and then you've got freaking. Two, look at that on the video, mate. You've got two inches of fucking gap. Three, probably. Yeah, but as you know, the camera ad size is anyway, and it slightly, doesn't it? Yeah, see? I'm actually skinny as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you wait till you meet everybody. Yeah. <laughs> I know, they'll be like, oh my god, he's so handsome. <laughs> yeah, he won't. I'm just joking, obviously, it's a insecure. Oh. <laughs> you know what? It's just a handful. Don't make I'm so happy for you, mate. Make you jealous. Sure. I don't think she will. I'm not gay. <laughs> Definitely against gays. Only on Sundays. It is? Oh no, it's Saturday. So, anyway. Yeah, no, but you'll get on Sundays. Okay, I'm going on Sundays. So anyway, massive shout out to Fiberworks if any of you were subscribed to our channel or anything or watch yeah. our videos. Thank well, you so much because they, they know about the YouTube perfect. channel because I sent them the link to it. Yeah, I uh, When I bought the wings a year ago and I nearly got a ducktail spoiler for the S2000 off of them, but I was too slow. They were offering it half price to the first person really and I could just get one cheaper. I just want something in there for now until I get my big gay wing. <laughs> Because it's, it's going to go with your little gay wappers. Yeah, <laughs> big gay wing, go with my little gay wappers. But, but no, I'm going yeah, full Voltex good. wing on that bad boy. Oh, this is this is about the FNT. Sorry, mate. All right. Sorry, I'm so bored of doing the boring shit to mine. I'm sorry, you know, mate. Stuff, mate. Look at what you got coming up on yours. Though. I know it's going to be insane. I'm going to be like, just we're going to be crying. cutting all the wheel arches off and everything. Oh, it's going to. My car's just going to be sat there, just like oh, I'm neglected. It's not. No, it's not. So yeah, good shout out to Fiberworks. Yeah, mate. Very, Anyone very who's thinking good. of getting from them, do because the fitment is really good. That fitment was that light is better than anything that I've ever really fitted on a car like that. Bloody brilliant! <coughs> I'm so happy that they look as good as they do. I was worried that like the lines were going to be all over the place and it was going to be uneven. And yeah, yeah. Nah, very happy. So when they go to paint, hopefully I get a little bit of footage, maybe if I can, mm -hmm. of that. But I'll definitely put in some footage of us picking them up because yeah, yeah. whether we'll pick them up in the car or in Ben's van or whatever, I don't know. But And then uh, it should, now we've already taken the old ones off and tested it then, it should be a fairly quick process putting them back on putting again. Putting them back on, yeah. I think. Yeah. So yeah, now we've got to take all that apart. And put, put the, the old, old one back, back on. on again. <laughs> and then pre-drill all the holes in the other one. Yeah. This was the ball lake though of it. Yeah. I was like, do that or fit I'm it. I'm kind of glad they didn't pre-drill the holes though, because we were able to drill them where we needed to. Because some of them, where they've got a little mark on them where to yeah. drill. Yeah, yeah. And some of them you needed to be slightly off by two or three or four mil. Yeah, because we, we actually perfect. we actually drilled them on the hole, and yeah. they were a little bit off. Some they of them. were, but you can just like elongate the hole a bit. Yeah. And then just just so jimmy it give around. it a little bit of extra movement because you've got big washers on the mm. bolts anyway. So yeah, exactly. you can't you've got, see anything. You've got so plenty of coverage. Trim. So anyway, we're shit chatting. 
massively. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Please keep them coming in. We like to hear from no, all of you. Loads. We're getting loads, mate. We're on our way to 3K now. <laughs> amazing. Crazy. Let's see if we can hit 3,000 subscribers by Christmas. That'd be amazing. That'd be wicked, wicked, wouldn't it? That'd be amazing. That's a thousand a year, pretty much. And hopefully, meets may be coming up this year. Who knows? Oh, they will be, mate. 100%. Well, we are 100% going to BHP Festival in Exeter at West Point. We're going mm -hmm. to take our local club up there. There's with the skyline. Uh, yeah. Shout out Desmond. Uh, we were talking last night about it, and it's on. So we're definitely going to go to there. I think it was July, I think, wasn't it? I can't remember. Uh, July eighteenth, something like that. I think it was there. Yeah. So yeah, it'd be nice just to actually meet some of you guys face to definitely. face. Definitely. So we'll have a our local car club stand. So yeah, mate. Well happy. Thank you to Dynadays. Thank you to Tactical Racing. All that stuff in the in the description Toxic below. Toxic knobs. Toxic Thank you, knobs. you for Toxic knobs. Obviously, he's been amazing to us. Infinity decals as well. Yeah. Thank oh, you for yeah. all your ideas you bring Grab your merch. Grab your merch. Good. Cop your merch. Look at that. Look. Beer. Beer. I quite like the idea of a long sleeve t-shirt. It looks with, good. With something on the on the sleeve. Oh, there you go. Infinity decals. There you go. <laughs> long sleeve t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, go buy all your stuff and support us. Be amazing. 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 Jim. Uh, amazing. Sh amazing. No, oh, no. Why did I say that? I hate that fucking woman. What? The one that says Shermaine, what's her name? Shirt Swinger? Nicole Shirt, Shirt Swinger? Oh, yeah, yeah. Could be worse. I don't hate it. her. Could be worse, because Ben, you just hate. Just send it, mate. No, I'm not going to. I'm not going <laughs> to. I couldn't even get the words out. <coughs> I'm, not I'm never going to send it. I'll, I will I will drive erratically, but I will never send it. <laughs> <laughs> I just won't use them words. <laughs> send it. It's just something about it. I don't get it. Anyway, whatever. Shit chat. Shit chat. Thank you all for watching. If you're not subscribed, please consider to do so. And we love you all. We should see you next on the next video. video. Peace out. Peace out. Bye. Bye.